It's now possible to set up a subscription in the Power BI service and include any filters that have been applied to your reports. Now that wasn't an option previously, so in this video I'm going to show you how to set this up. Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to look at this email subscription option here. Now I've created a video on this before and I've also created some videos with Power Automate that allow you to set up subscriptions and apply specific filters to each one of those subscriptions. So for example, you might want to see only the values or the report filtered for a specific site or a specific department or something of that nature. But now it's possible to do this directly in Power BI without going into Power Automate. So to get started, we're going to go and press the email subscription and we are going to add a new subscription. So I've covered this before. You've got the, the name of the subscription. You've got who wants to who you want to subscribe to it, the subject, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But there's no option in here to allow you to apply any filters to that subscription. So to see that option, let's cancel out of this. We need to actually apply a filter first. So let's open up the filter panel here, the filter pane, and we've got a few subscriptions here. Now I'm going to go and look for the department. So I'm going to only look at maintenance. And that's my department, so I'm interested in maintenance, for example. And within maintenance, I might actually, actually only want to see, for example, the mechanical discipline here. Okay. Right, so I want this to be sent to the mechanical supervisor each week to so, so that they can see the, the backlog they've got outstanding, the number of hours, the trends, etc, etc. So let's go and we'll set this up. So we'll press the subscribe button. We're going to add a new subscription here and we can see here that this checkbox is now available which says include my changes. So if I hover above here we can see that it doesn't just include the filters, it includes any visual personalizations, any drill downs and any spotlighting and, and other features that you've actually put in place. So let's go and try a couple of these. So I'm going to cancel out of this for just now and I'm going to go in and I'm going to personalize one of these visuals. So this one here has got a department and it, this visual is not going to be that particularly great because it's just basically just going to show you the one department because that is backlog by department. So let's go in and we're going to personalize this visual. Now I have created a video on this so I'll, I'll link below to explain how this all personalization actually works. Okay, so I've now customized this visual here. I've changed it to a start column chart. I'm displaying it by work order status and we're displaying the count. So let's go and close that down. And this will only be for me. Okay, so that's great because I want, only want this to be for me. For anyone else, it's going to show the table that it had before or the matrix I had before. So let's go back in now and we'll go to our subscription. And we're going to create a subscription and we will include the changes here. So let's put a subject in. Backlog overview for mechanical maintenance work orders. And then we're going to go down and we are going to change this to weekly and we're going to send it just on specific days, a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday and everything else I think is fine. We're just going to leave that and we need to include this preview page, include a link to the report and include permission to access the Power BI report. So that's fine. We'll leave that in for just now. So let's save that. Then I'm going to go back into the subscription and I'm just going to activate it to run now. So I'm in Outlook now and here we can see we've got an email. Let's open this up. And we can see that we've got that image embedded. Okay, so we can see now this image has got the filters applied for the mechanical department. So everything here is, is actually pre-filtered for mechanical and for maintenance. And also, once you click on the report, we can see that the values and the filters have been applied when you drill through into that report from the email. So a nice, neat little bit of functionality, something I've been looking for for a while because it Previously, you had to either use Power Automate or you had to create different copies of the page with the filters applied and subscribe to each one of those. So, great new bit of functionality. So, if you found this video useful, it's always appreciated and really helpful if you can give the video a thumbs up and a like. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, then hit the subscribe button and press the little bell and you'll get a notification whenever I release a video, which tends to be around about every week. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.